without a waste of time, we are going to pray this morning. But before we pray, um, I just want us to honor and appreciate our spiritual parents and our vision bearers for the ministry and for what God has called us to do in this place. You know, our lead pastor, Pastor Colin Maluleke, and the first lady, Mrs. Nopimelelo Maluleke. Come on, appreciate God for them, for such a wonderful vision. Amen. Amen. Well, and also appreciate God for you that you are here this morning. Come on, appreciate God for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, uh, we are streaming live, I believe, so on different social media platforms, and we believe also the people who are streaming that are about to be blessed for what God is about to do in this house. I appreciate God for the people who are streaming live, amen. Come on, somebody, in Jesus' mighty name. Can we go to the book of Romans chapter 6 and verse 6. Romans chapter 6 and verse 6. How many of you are expectant for what God is about to do this morning? How many of you are expectant? Oh, come on. Give the Lord a shout of praise if you're expectant. Romans 6, 6. Romans chapter 6 and verse 6. Romans chapter 6 and verse 6. You know, one thing about this conference is that the expectations of our faith, they are way high above. Hallelujah. And we believe such a time and such a season will never leave us the same. Amen. Romans chapter 6 and verse 6. I want us to read this together. One, two, three, let's go. Knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him, that a body of sin may be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves of sin. Verse 7. Next verse. For he has been freed from sin. Next verse died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Next verse. Knowing that Christ, having been raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has. Come on somebody, give the Lord a shout of praise for that. Raise up your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. Father, we thank you. We give you the praise this morning because death has no dominion over you. We give you the praise this morning that even our faith has been lifted high for what you did for us on the cross. Lord, we expectant of what you're about to do even this morning. Lord, we know by the sacrifice of Calvary. Lord, we know by what you did on the cross is the greatest sacrifice you can ever give for humanity. Father, Lord, we thank you even so this morning, Lord Jesus Christ, we express our thanks in our prayers for what you did for us on the cross as the the Bible says death has no dominion over you for you died once and for all and every man that accepts you has been renewed has been set free and has been made alive in your kingdom by faith my father Lord even as we mark the beginning of this conference we know that the expressions of our faith oh God they are way above expectations for the word says oh God Jesus Christ that the expectations of the righteous man shall never be cut short and oh God you says that every man that comes in your presence with faith believing there is remarkable power and grace available in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, even as we mark the beginning of this conference, we decree and declare, we open the port of faith this morning as we express ourselves, my Father, as we pray in the spirit. Felifa, Felifa, Felifa. Come on, somebody, raise up your voice, begin to pray in the spirit. Father, Lord, we expect that. Rekete, rekete, repraskotos kaparidara. Rebrandes ketele gedepa. Come on, somebody. I can't hear your voice. Express yourself in the spirit. Begin to clap those hands as you pray in the spirit for what God is about to do and is already doing in the house. Pelifas katile gedepa. Repetes katali ketele gapa. Ripatis kotos kapa. Refes kati shadaba. Empras katile gepe. Repete rekatas kotos kapali de kepa. Mambre fos kotos kapala katileve. Felesco pali katali dapa. Emprefe emprefes katali dapa. Repete ratata ripos kotos kapa. Relelelelelele katala la 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 prakapa. Lord Jesus Christ, we know for sure, oh God, that our lives will never be the same again. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Emprefas ketelepa. Repete tapalas kotos kapa. Refes tapalas kapa. Come on, somebody. 
pray in the spirit as you believe what God is about to do this morning in Jesus mighty name repedede praskotos kapari de gepe refesketes kopala kapa men prefesketele gedebe repanda skotos kapari da kapa refesketes shodopa ratatile profaskatile gepa les prasokotos kapari da kapa em prefesketes kapari da sete palas kapa in Jesus mighty name we pray and we believe come on somebody give the lord shallow praise this morning in Jesus mighty name hallelujah i want us to express the joint faith of expression and faith what what we expect god to do as we are beginning this conference we know it's going to get hot and hot and hot and hot so i want us to set that atmosphere by praying in the spirit for the next couple of 5 minutes or for to for, for what we believe in god to do this i'm going to be have a faith that god is about to do great things How many of you have that kind of faith like me? Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Now I want you to join a hand with your neighbor and just join it and we're going to pray in expectation for what God is about to do even as we begin this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you. Begin to pray in the spirit. Vela sima kufa. Le fresquete si brando scotos capali le ketele gedebe. Repa las ketele bre fekete le frescoto shi di blandes ketele gedeba. Le 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 bracatari proscotos capali ketele frascatali gebe. Repete re proscotos capalati le ke frascoto sabradi ketele gedebe. Repede de de brascoto sabradi kete re prafascatela gadaba. Repede de brasco fascapali fasca membre fascata. Repede scatus caparida membres kete. Valisco palides ketele frandas catasca parida. Repede scotos kapa mambra katalegebe palaskoto e prafaskata shegedela embra fata membre fesketele gedebe repataskoto fadis katalagaba mambro skotos kapari de ketele gedebe repa vaskoto sabradi ketele gedeba membro faskatile braskoto sabradi kete falisko fasketele brandes kete shadaba mambre faskata rigaba repedeskoto skapalande fresketele gede ripatas kapali de legedeba paraskoto shabradi katalagaba embra faskata mambre kete palas Skoto shadi prakata la gadibe prefas kapa em prefas kete jide barakata repete te palas kata la gabagabagaba repefes koto shabrandes kata em prefete mambras kata skapari de le fras koto shada baharakata repete de bras koto skapari de gabagabagaba repete skoto shadi prakata rikete ba intensify those tongues somebody le paska em prefas kati skepe mambras kata skapari de ripos koto shala la 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 kata la gadaba le 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 prefes kata si prascotoba me prefes que te lele lele pra catalis que pe filaso pratique te lele lele pra catala gatipe fes catas cotos capali que te legapa intensify dos tang samba de pascata repete status capali da man prefes que te legapa palas cotos si pratique te lege de pe repas catas sobre de fascati lege de pe em pra fascatas que te lege de pe pas cotos capali da man prefes que te lege de pe facite se de pra catile que te pa em pra fata man prefes que te escapari da ves cotos ya di pa kata repetes kata rikete pa intensify those thanks somebody peskatis ko palida pa you expecting great things to happen in such a time pe faskoto shabrande kete paskata si pe embrakatis kata repetete de braskoto ska palide kete feskata skoto sabradi kete lega pa palaskete paskoto ska palida vembre kete sete repele kete lega ta braskoto zaragata rakapa men profaskata rakati lega de pe peleskete sobradi kete le faskata lega pa repetete de prascotos ta paradaka pele fascotos abrande ke telegede pa rapatas katari pele ke pelga pa 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 repetes kotos ya di brandes ke telega pa parascoto fatika tariba pe prafasika ta mambre ke te si pratika ta heke pa mambra fascata repete de prascotos ta pa embra ka ta embre ke te ke ta pa rebadas kati regete pa e prascata riga pa embro fascatas ka pa le ke telega pa embra fascotos ya di pa mambra ka ta lige pe le credes katas koto brakati le Gedeba gaba 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 repatas kotos abrande ke tele gedebe e prafas ka te shede pa la kataba em pros kotos ka pali de regete pa rakativa fes ke te si pa riva mam pras ka tos ka pa repete de de pras kotos ka gaba 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 rapatas ke te regete pras kotos ka gaba 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 em prefas ka te regete le ba las ka ta ankra da ankra te ankra de ankra de ske fre gaba 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 kre de ankra de fre gaba 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 ske fre de ske pe falis ke pe las kotos ka pali de ske tele gedeba rada la 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 ka tele gede pra gaba 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 le 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 pras que te le que te pras cotos ka pali de pe pe le fas ka tis que te le que te pras cotos ka pali que te fis ka ta fis ka pa mam pres que te ska ta se pre te fas cotos ka 
Kapa Hekatepa, Mam Prefes Ketes Kotos Kapali Danakatapa, Rekete Bras Kotos Kapalan, the Legate Lele Prakatalagapa, Lele 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 Prakati Lege de Bras Kotos Kapa, Intense Fight those tanks somebody Le Palaskata, Refas Kataskepe, Sipre Faskata Riketepa, for what you're about to do, O God. Pefaskata, mam preskata, em preketes katalikepe, rekete patakatila praskotos kapa, rekete paskata lagapa. Even for faith of God that is expressed this morning in Jesus' mighty name, paskata, repete tete parakati lege parakati lege deba, repeto pa repata mam preskete, si pradi faskata rekete ba, shile le 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 katala la 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 pala katapa, em preketes kotos kapa la le 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 plakata, sinkredi inkrodon kredi inkredi inkredi manafite peva. For one more minute, intensify those tongues. Paskata skete leva diba. Em proskoto skapari de feskete pa. Pifaskata ripata skete lege de proskoto pa. Repete te pa laskati lege de pa. Feskato skap. Are you praying? Somebody intensify those tongues for thirty more seconds. Posko, posko, posko. Falis katari de pa. Repete skatari de pa. Palaska fiska pa. Em breke te skapari da. Ve breke skata man proskoto skapa. Reke te pa laska. Imprefescatilepat, <laughs> Now let go of that hand, call up your hands and begin to pray in this. Just clap your hands and begin to pray in the spirit. Declare something, Father. We're expecting great things. Lord, we know for sure. As you clap your hands, declare something. The Bible says we shall decree a thing and shall be established. Lord, we declare and declare miracles, signs and wonders this morning. Lord, we decree and declare the demonstration of your power. Lord, we decree and declare the manifestation of your grace. Lord, we decree and declare salvation of God. Lord, we decree and declare the impartation of your word. Lord, we decree and declare Come on, somebody declare something by faith. Lord, we decree and declare even those who are streaming life of God by your grace and by your power. There is grace of God for them. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, Lord, by your power and by your grace, we decree and declare a an impartation of faith this morning. In Jesus' mighty name. As you launch us, step our God into a new dimension, into a new grace of faith. In Jesus' mighty name. Pafita, Come on, somebody declare something for what God has done for you on the cross. Come and clap your hands to Jesus, somebody. Come and clap your hands to Jesus, somebody. Come on, don't stop, lift him up. Don't stop, lift him up, give him glory. Give him glory, give him glory in this room. Give him glory. We are here to magnify the one and only true God. The one who was, the one who is and is to come. The everlasting God, the great God. Come on, Lord him. Come on, exalt him. Worship him. Give him the glory. This Katona Basaya. We give you glory, God. We magnify you, Holy Spirit. Come on, you guys can intensify it and give him glory. Oh, Ungenze lago kogushe. Ungenze lago kogushe. Come on, everybody, let's lift it up. Oh, it's it.
up one more time. Who can say? This is your chance. Not even if it's day one, but we believe God. That is your sense. Are you ready to praise the Lord? Are you ready to praise the Lord? Say 
There's no one like our God. Our God.
of hope I enter through the blood of hope I enter to worship you only I enter to honor you therefore Lord I worship you I worship you Lord I worship you yes I worship worship everybody with those hands lifted up I enter. Come on, lift up those hands. Father, we give you glory. We come into your presence to worship you. We worship you, Holy Spirit. Out of our bellies, we worship. I enter to honor you. Lord, I worship you. Your mighty name, we worship, we exalt you, we extol your mighty name, we lift your name up higher, we worship you. Yes, my father, I worship you. I join with the angels and I worship.
Si paga mi samazul Si su ingüele Ay, 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 ay We bow before your throne. We bow, Lord. We bow.
shout it out. For there is none. For there is none. Nobody compares. No you are great and greatly to be praised. Seated on a throne so high. Nobody. No For there is none.
the reason why we say there's no one like him is because he didn't just go to the cross. What we're celebrating today is not just the fact that he made it to the cross, but the fact that he stayed on the cross for as long as was necessary to win the victory of life and death on our behalf. And he stayed on that cross not because he had to, he stayed on that cross not because he needed to, but because he wanted to. It's one thing for someone to do something for you because they have to do it. It's a whole another thing if someone does something that grand for you because they want to do it. I'm trying to say that he didn't have to carry your sins, but he wanted to. He didn't have to die for your prosperity, but he wanted to. He didn't have to die for your life, but he wanted to. And here's why. For God so loved the world. So that's why we celebrate him this morning. Because he loved us. I wish I had a loved church this morning that would celebrate this God who stayed on the cross for your sake. I wish I had a church that would celebrate God because he stuck through the pain for you. I wish I had a church that would celebrate Jesus because he didn't have to do it, but he wanted to. All because he wanted you and I. Lord, we celebrate you this morning. We give you all the glory. We bless your holy name. We worship you this morning for the sacrifice you've made on the cross of Calvary. Not because you had to, but because you wanted to. You had us in mind. That is why this morning I am standing on this levitating pulpit, looking at close to 600 iterations of your goodness. And I celebrate you, God, for every individual that is in this room because we are representing things that you are doing in this generation. And for that reason, that reason alone, we honor you. We love you and we bless your name. And it is in Jesus' name we have worshipped. Amen and amen. <laughs> celebrate Jesus one more time. I said celebrate Jesus one more time. We serve a good God. City of Goshen, welcome to Demonstrate Conference 2024. I'm going to try that one more time. Go City, welcome to Demonstrate Conference 2024. Yes, sir. On your way to your seat, congratulate someone for making it. Tell them congratulations, you made it to demonstrate conference. Ah, come on, don't be jealous. Give someone a high five. Welcome to demonstrate con conference. Did you compliment them? They look amazing this morning. Don't make me come down there and have to do it for you. Come on, tell them you look great. You look like you spent the night with Jesus. You look like Jesus stuck through the cross on your behalf. You look like you are, oh my goodness me, you guys look amazing this morning. City of Goshen, welcome to church, welcome to Demonstrate Conference, and welcome to the House of Love. Uh, we're excited that you are here this morning. Uh, my name is Siabo uh, Mashengeto, and I've been conscripted to share the announcements with you. Before I get to the announcements, uh, you might have seen him walk out, but we are not a fatherless church. We have a father. And, her, and a mother under, under whose auspices uh, we are growing to become the people that God wants us to be. So if you're not jealous like me, won't you jam those hands together and celebrate the first lady and the pastor of the city of Goshen. I said, if you're not jealous like me, you would clap a little louder than that. Celebrate God for them. 
Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Have your seats. Um, if there are any pastors in the room, uh, men of God, won't you please raise your hand so we can see you. Any pastors, any uh, evangelists, fivefold ministry gifts, anybody at all, we want to acknowledge you if you're here. We've got one in the front. We've got, okay, some of you I know you're not. But for those of you who are men of God, we celebrate you. Thank you for coming to Fellowship in the City. Um, also, there's a special cluet of people I want to acknowledge this morning. If you are in the city of Goshen for the first time, won't you raise your hand? Step one, raise your hand. Step two, won't you rise to your feet? Won't you stand? If you're here for the first time, please remain standing. City of Goshen. Go city. Please remain standing. Remain standing. Uh, thank you for coming to the city of Goshen. While you stand, our Connect team and our ushers will hand you some Connect cards uh, to fill out to give us your details. Please, if you can, and if you don't mind, give us your real name and surname. Give us your real email address and your real phone number. We would love to connect with you beyond the service. Is that all right? Amen. As you have your seats, uh, Go City, celebrate them one more time. And of course, another really important group of people that we want to acknowledge is the people that are joining us online. We are live on Facebook and YouTube right now. If you're going to clap, you might need to clap like they're not in the room. That's good. That's good. And so if you're joining us online, welcome to service. We believe that the message of the power of the cross of Calvary will transcend whatever device you're streaming from and reach you where you are. May God bless you as the service continues. Amen. All right, the last group of people I want to quickly celebrate is the leadership of the city of Goshen. If you're in the leadership, if you're a team leader, won't you stand quickly? I know some of them are working, but if you're a team leader, please stand. We would love to celebrate you. These are the people that are serving tirelessly who made this conference possible. We love you dearly in Jesus' name. Well, there's a couple of announcements to get through. I'm going to come back in a couple of minutes just to share a bit more on some of the stuff that's coming up throughout the year. But for now, won't you fix your eyes to the screen for the announcements? Welcome to day one of Demonstrate Conference 2024. And if it's your first time, welcome home. Let's start with some housekeeping. For our first time visitors, if you do feel pressed during the service, our restrooms are on your right behind the black wall. Please note, due to limited seating, please refrain from reserving seats. Please make sure that your phone is on silent or on airplane mode throughout the service. The vision for Goshen City Church is to see Christ revealed in the inner city, South Africa, Africa, and the world, according to Mark chapter 16, verses 15 to 18. Our mission is to demonstrate the love of Christ on earth, according to Galatians chapter 5, verse 14. Now, if today is not enough for you, you can join us every Wednesday for our Fellowship of the Holy Spirit service from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Kick off your weekend with our Saturday morning prayer from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. We look forward to seeing you in the city for our Sunday celebration service from 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. To make sure you don't miss a beat, follow us on social media at We Are Go City on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. If you enjoy listening to podcasts, you can find all our sermons on our podcast at We Are Go City, which are available on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Family, we would love to hear the work God is doing in your life. Share your faith journey with us. Send your testimony to God Did It at WeAreGoCity.org. Share your testimony and let your story inspire and encourage others. If you wish to serve in the city, we have the following serving departments. Sound of Goshen, Ushering, Sanctuary Keeping, Media and Technical Team, Connect Team, Intercession, Protocol and Security, Hospitality, Children's Church, and Outreach. On the 6th of April, we will be having our baptism class from 10.15 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And on the 7th of April, we will be having our baptism service. Please note that registrations are still open. Family, 
On the 13th of April, we will be having our first ever When Women Pray Gathering. So keep your eyes open for the poster on our social media. And on the 16th of August, we will also be having our very first ever When Women Worship Gathering with Ndogo Zimbabwe and Prophetess Nomusa Jomo. Tickets are only 250 Rand on web tickets and will go live beginning of May. On the 1st of September, we will be having our first ever Church in the City outdoor service. And on the 21st of November to the 24th of November, we will be having our annual Shiloh Conference. So mark your calendar and save the date. An important notice to all the parents who bring their children to Children's Church, please make sure you sign them in and you hand them over physically to a teacher to make sure that they are safe and that you collect them after the service yourself. And some really exciting stuff coming up in the city. Um, I just want to reiterate a couple, but maybe here's one that could not make it to the video that's very important. Um, everyone that is on the path of getting married, everyone that has expressed their intention to do so, everyone that, and by intention, I mean for us black people, is it Lobola? What is it? Is it Dowry? Is this one Lobola? It's in English. Correct me if I'm wrong, family. But everyone, every couple that is on their way to the altar from the second of this coming month, which is Tuesday, um, we will be starting our premarital classes. Uh, that's very important. Uh, someone said that it is interesting that uh, for everything that we want to do with the rest of our lives, we prepare ourselves. Those who want to be accountants go to school for it. And those who want to be doctors go to school for it. But when it comes to the single most important decision, which is who you spend the rest of your life with, that we just wing. And as a ministry, we don't want you to see, we don't want to see you do that rather. And so from the 2nd of April, please, 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 every couple that is getting married, uh, you are invited to join those premarital classes. Amen. If you're sitting next to a couple that's about to get married, won't you nudge them and say, go to class. Oh, okay. Do we have that many? That's exciting. Amen. Amen. Of course, on the 13th of April, one more time, um, our first lady has gone on a leap and she is commencing what will be an interesting and lifelong journey with the women in the city. So they are having their very first When Women Pray service. I'm hearing whistles. I'm getting a bit worried. I said, when women pray. That sounds just about right. <laughs> All right. So ladies, you will be here. It will happen during the normal Saturday prayer time. So from 8 o'clock till 10 o'clock, ladies, you'll be here in the city praying for us. Okay, I don't know what you're going to be praying for. Let me not preempt you. Uh, but we are, we're excited that um, this is now taking flight. It's been a long time coming. And finally, you are here. Gentlemen, I'm not quite certain yet, and we'll get direction on what's going to happen with us uh, that particular morning. I don't know if we'll have a pray. I don't know if we'll, we'll, I don't know what we'll do. I'm just teasing. But please, ladies, make sure you're here on the 13th of April. And of course, we couldn't hold ourselves but to share the good news um, that we have confirmed the ministers that are coming for the 16th of August for when women worship. I know they've been confirmed. Further details will come as we go along, but given that we have so many people coming from all kinds of places and the four corners of the city of Joburg, Gauteng, South Africa, and the world, we had to tell you that you must mark that date. Uh, save the date, ladies. That's for you as well. Gentlemen, I'm sorry. I'm sure maybe we'll have when men worship as well. What is ours about that? <laughs> but for now, ladies, this one is specifically for you. On the 16th of August, mark the date. If you need to take leave and you're working, do it now. If you need to send the kids to their grandmother, do it now. Whatever you need to do, make sure that you are here in the city on the 16th of August. Amen. And of course, the last one is that 
on the 1st of September. Um, it's been in our pastor and the first lady's hearts to take church out of these four walls into the city because uh, who knows what our vision is, is to see Christ revealed within these four walls, right? Uh, oh, someone said yes behind me. Guys, don't embarrass me. But important, the vision is to see Christ revealed in the inner city. So we're taking that first step that on the 1st of September, we are going to the inner city of Joburg. Uh, we'll announce the venue. We'll announce the, all the other details coming up. But we want you to be excited. Get your family ready. It's going to be a family event. Um, invite your cousins from afar. Invite your family from afar as well. Uh, mark the date as well. 1 September, you are nowhere but in the city for church in the city. Amen? Amen. All right. I think that's it from me for now. Um, I do want to welcome Brother Shepherd, who's coming to lead us in the ministry of giving. Won't you jam those hands together for him as he comes to lead us? Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we'd like to greet the Church of God this morning and our parents in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Um, I don't know, do we say happy Good Friday? I'm not sure. <laughs> do we? Yeah, we can. Happy Good Friday. Hallelujah. And um, somebody might be asking, what's good about this Friday? Hallelujah. What's good about this Friday is the work that happened on the cross. Hallelujah. I'd like to ask the media at the back to share the scripture on the screen from the book of John chapter number 12, verse 24. So if you look at it, what happened to Jesus on that particular Friday was not good, hallelujah. From a fleshly point of view, they beat him up, they did everything that they could, um, stripped him of his dignity, and they crucified him on the cross, hallelujah. And that was awful, but he was doing it for a purpose. If we turn on the screen, the Bible says, unless... Um, most assuredly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain. The scripture is not speaking about wheat, but it's literally speaking about the life of Jesus Christ. What he did on the cross was to give his life for us, demonstrating the fact that God loved the world and he gave and you can only receive after giving. That's what the scripture says. Hallelujah. Before Jesus Christ died, God only had Jesus as his only begotten son. But after him dying on the cross, the Bible says he gave us the power to be called sons and children of God. Hallelujah. So for him to receive sons and, and children, he had to give his only begotten son. And this morning, as we give, let's have it at the back of our minds that God himself had to demonstrate that fact by giving his only begotten son for him to receive sons as well. Hallelujah. And as you give this morning, believe God that as you give whatever you are giving, God is faithful and just to give you the reward that you deserve. The Bible says we will be given according to how we give. The measure that we give at, it is going to be given back unto us. Hallelujah. I don't know what you are believing God for in terms of the measure, but I believe this is a fertile ground. Amen. This church is a fertile ground. The kingdom of God is a fertile ground. And his word, he keeps it. His promises, they are yes and amen. Glory to Jesus. So I like um, the topic or the, 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 the name of the prayer that is happening for the women when women pray. So now we're getting into a moment when, when the church gives. Hallelujah. We want to give this morning. Glory to Jesus. How many of us who are ready to give? Yes. Glory to Jesus. So the baskets are going to move across the auditorium. We have got different ways of giving. Um, snap scan. And then we've got the EFT. The account is also on the screen. Um, then those that don't have cash, but they've got their cards. We also have swiping machines in the house. You can go to your, your right, my left. Hallelujah. That's where the swiping machine is. You can just wave just there at the back. Um, you can go swipe your offering. Hallelujah. 
before we do the giving, I just want to express the following point. Um, I'm sure those, if you can lift up your, your heads, those like lift up your heads, all you get. <laughs> you, you will see that um, our aircon, one of our aircons is already installed, hallelujah. And uh, And it's working, hallelujah. It's not just installed, it's working, glory to Jesus. Um, I was speaking to one brother this morning and he was saying, it's cold. <laughs> and I'm like, people don't know what they want. <laughs> what, what, what? When it's hot, we say it's hot. When it's cold, it's cold. You know, but uh, God must help him. Amen. Um, we believe in God that the other one is going to be working as well by next week, Sunday. So just keep the church in prayer and the people that are doing the work that none of them fall sick. And we managed to meet our target that by uh, Sunday next week that Econ is also working. Hallelujah. I think it's a clapping point. Um. Amen. Amen. Um, I will couple this with the fact that last week um, we, we introduced the chair campaign again, and I'll ask the media team to share um, the, 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 fly, the flyer for the chair campaign. We have received um, about um, money equivalent to 100 chairs already. Hallelujah. Amen. So those that, are, that came to church maybe in one of the Sundays and they couldn't find a seat, um, the Egyptians that you saw, you would not see them anymore. <laughs> but uh, we are short. What we are targeting for is 200 chairs, so we are short with um, uh, another 100. Hallelujah. So if you are here and um, God is speaking to you as I'm speaking, um, the campaign is still open. We'll place an order as soon as... We have got, um, we have met our target. Um, can you share the, 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 um, the poster, please? Um, so the chair is going for 650, and we are using a specifically dedicated account for that. So don't put it to, into the normal church account. We're putting it into our projects account. Um, so if God is speaking to you, five chairs, one chair, ten chairs, all hundred are welcome. You're welcome to do so. And God will definitely bless you. Hallelujah. And um, we are only able to do this because of your generosity. Hallelujah. Um, God um, is really working through you. And we are seeing the goodness of God through you. What is happening here um, is beyond the imagination of man. God is at work through his people. Hallelujah. And if you look at the demographics of our church, we are predominantly young people, but we are not being despised because we are young. Hallelujah. Or we predominantly have young people. Hallelujah. We, we are pulling our weight only because God is enabling us. And I would like to say that continue giving. Those that are partnering with the church, let's continue doing so. Uh, those that are tithing, let's continue tithing as well. Those that are giving their offerings every Sunday, don't reduce and start giving five rands, continue where you were giving at the level that you were giving, and even go beyond, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus, amen, so we're about to, to give, uh, on the same vein, this conference as well, um, there are conference specific expenses that we are attending to, and if you feel you want to seed towards the conference, I don't want to speak more about the speaker that we have, I'm sure our pastor will, will do so, but also you will see him in action. But this, the person that is going to be speaking during this conference from tomorrow is not an ordinary speaker. Hallelujah. He's not an ordinary speaker. So we believe in God that he is going to do a lot of things in our lives. And if you feel in your heart you want to sow towards the conference, please feel free to do so. You can just reference conference and God is going to definitely bless you. Hallelujah. Can we bow our heads this morning as we prepare our offerings um, to give unto the Lord? Father, we thank you. We humble ourselves even as we consider the cross. 
We thank you, Lord, for the work that was done on the cross, giving your life, oh God, for our lives. We thank you, Lord, that you died for us on the cross even before we knew you, when we were still sinners. We thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as we are about to give in this place. May you bless every hand that is going to stretch in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May they reap a hundredfold. Lord, we give you all the praise and even beyond. Thank you, Father. We bless your name in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Please remain seated as you give. Um, then you get further instructions and we can put our hands as our pastor comes on stage. God bless you. Good morning, City of Goshen. How are you guys doing? Are you good? Happy to be a demonstrate? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let's give God a praise as we give our offering. We are truly, uh, as a ministry, we are truly blessed to do what we do. Um, and we do not take it for granted. Um, you know, every single time when I look across this room, uh, every Sunday, every Wednesday, and uh, people keep showing up, you know, for me it's a sign that God is here, amen? It's a sign that God is here. I know you are too smart to follow a guy like me. So, so I know that God is pulling you here, amen? I know there is something at work in this place and that our God is good. Like uh, Shepard was saying, you know, um, sometimes people will look at the age groups in this place and they see a lot of students, uh, a lot of young families, um, and you know, you walk around our parking lot and you know, there isn't a lot of cars because our parking is small, you know, so you guys leave your cars at home and you Uber to church, you know, you hide your big vehicles and you, you are walking just to stay fit. And then we appreciate that, you know. We appreciate that. <laughs> we appreciate that. But um, the work that happens in the background, yesterday they were busy installing these pipes and uh, people came through for prayer, you know, and we ended up preparing chairs and doing all that stuff. Just the dedication of the people uh, to excellence and to wanting to see the work of God move forward is really overwhelming. It's amazing, you know. Um, I mean, I look at um, the intercessors are here early in the morning to pray. Uh, the media team is here not later than 7 a.m. in the morning, so three hours of preparation goes into what they're doing right now. Uh, the worship team is here at 7 as well. You know, um, I don't know what they're doing, but they're, they're here, you know. <laughs> Thank God that they came. Amen. <laughs> uh, and, and just the relentless faith of the people to see the work of God happen is absolutely amazing. I mean, I, I see the number of tithers has uh, increased. People are tithing. People are getting employed. People are showing up. People are giving. People are supporting the work of God. And I just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Amen. Yeah, it's a clapping place. Hallelujah. So thank you. Thank you for for loving Goshen enough um, to put your resources in it. And to the men in this place, thank you for loving and honoring me enough to bring your families here, amen. It's not easy to get men to do anything, hallelujah. We're still praying that we'll have a when men pray at some point, you know, so. Because every single time we show up, it's the women that are praying. So they've been praying, by the way, they've been, They've been holding it up for us. So, gents, we need to, um, you know, let, let's move from uh, when men go go my my and say when men go into God's presence, amen. Because if we say uh, you know, you'll see men flocking into this place. Uh, but I just want to commend all of you and just say thank you 
for honoring God. Thank you for fearing God enough. Uh, thank you for, for giving into the work of God. Amen. Can we stand and just clap hands for ourselves, you know, to be used by God? Please stand. Please stand. Everybody standing. Amen. Please go up twice, please. Christ. Hallelujah. This is Demonstrate 2024. Go up, go up, go up again to me. Please just keep your eyes on me. Go up. Hallelujah. This is what it's all about. This is what we are called for, to demonstrate the power of God. And man, I want to tell you, this weekend, your life, will never <laughs> be the same. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, demonstrate 2024. Demonstrate 2024. <laughs>
Hallelujah. You know, may your worship to God never end in, in, in empty words and melodies. Amen. May it be conviction and life. Hallelujah. Never sing anything that you are not convicted of. So every single time when we lift up a song of worship, you need to understand that you are worshiping a king. You are worshiping God. Amen. And you are worshiping your father. Before you take your seat this morning, I want you to walk up to about five people and tell them, listen. You can start talking. Tell them, listen. La -le -la. Tell them, la -le -la. La -le -la 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 -la. God is about to demonstrate through you His power in our generation. Hallelujah. Come on, talk to somebody. Tell them God is about to use you. Amen. I don't know what he's going to use you to do, but he might just touch you to give me your car. Hallelujah. You may just touch someone and they get healed this weekend. Something big is about to come upon you. Minister to somebody. Tell them something amazing is about to happen through you. Amen. Not just to you, but through you, through you, through you, through you. You are the prophet for our nation. You are the one that God will use for this generation. Hallelujah. You are the one. You are the right man for the job. You are the right woman for the job. Hallelujah. City of Goshen, welcome to Demonstrate 2024. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise, everybody. Yeah. And Father, we thank you for this great gathering. We thank you that we are finally here. We thank you, Father, that we are alive to see you do what you're doing, not just through this ministry, but through each and every individual in this place. We thank you that we are in 2024 and you've already begun to demonstrate your power. And that this conference, oh God, will set us ablaze for your, for your kingdom. That this conference, oh God, will usher in revival into our generation. That in the next three days, our lives will never, ever be the same again. We thank you, Father, that this is the best conference we've had this far. And this is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Father, we thank you. We give you the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me also take this time to just acknowledge my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wife. Amen. Amazing. 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 Amen. My amazing wife. She's amazing in all senses. Well, to me. Amen. Um, it, some people say, mm, oh, well, <laughs> to me. All right, let's just get that out of the way. And uh, the good thing is that it's irregardless of people's opinions, amen. She thinks I'm the best thing that has ever happened to her, and I think she's the best thing that has ever happened. That's what we believe, amen. That's what we believe about each other. We love each other. She's, she's just an amazing woman. Thank you, babe, for carrying this ministry with me. Um, yeah, thank you for, for making me look smart, amen. Thank you for making me look good, amen. My wife just has a way of uh, making me look way better than I actually am, amen. Amazing. Um, I love you, my wife. Uh, yeah. Just look at a brother next to you who seems like they are suffering, amen. Look at them. Look at them. Say, hello, Safara. <laughs> hello, Safi. <laughs> oh. Hallelujah. Tell them, it's not good, man, for a man to be alone. What's wrong with you? If you're a sister, tell him, Ngila, 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 we are two pega. I can help you, quick. Man, what God joins together, let no man put asunder. 
Amen. So we, we love it. We love, we love marriage. Please don't be like Eric and uh, where's Bongani? And Bongani, Bongani, where are you? Wave your hand. Where is he? Where is he? You have even moved to the back. Get yourself. And God help you. Hmm? I'm trying to scan through this room, just see some of my miserable brothers here. Mm -mm, it's not right, man. Just, oh, Jesus died on the... <laughs> Please demonstrate some love. Come on. Uh -uh. Demonstrate love. Demonstrate. Show. You know? Anyways... Some of them look very clean, you know, you'd, you'd swear. <laughs> I'm still on this thing, you know. Some of them, they're living very nice, comfortable lives, but still, they are suffering. You know, they are suffering, Shem. Look at them once again and just say, Shem, Shem, Shem. If I were you, if I were you, so please uh, come through for the um, premarital classes. Also, not just pre, but even if you are married, and um, it's always good to sit with those that are walking the journey with you. Um, the, I believe in the power of impartation and uh, corporate anointing, amen. So please pull through uh, for these classes. Let's, let's, let's um, come and share ideas from the Word of God on how we can improve our homes, amen, on how to keep our families intact and uh, how to deal with uh, some of the issues that are happening right now in your home. I believe that God has a solution for you, amen. Um, God has a solution for all of us. We all go through issues. I mean, I didn't sleep at home last night, not because my wife kicked me out. As all of you are really thinking, wait, I see it's too good to be true. No, she didn't kick me out of the house. I, we worked till very, very late. Um, they disconnected all the power in the building and uh, they had to reconnect everything. We were also just upgrading to three phase as well. So it's been a very hectic week in preparation for the conference, you know. So um, I had to, to be here, you know. Um, but God is good, amen? God is good. God is good. Let's get into the Word of God. I want to acknowledge also my friend and brother, Pastor Aubrey. I believe there's some people you came with. Where are they? If they are somewhere in the back, please stand. Let us acknowledge you. Let us see you. Uh, everybody that came with Pastor Mkoka. Are you guys here? Oh, they're not here yet. Okay, okay. All right, no, don't worry. We'll, we'll rebuke them when they arrive. Amen. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Uh, today, amen. And if it's your first time in the city, uh, where are you? If it's your first time, wave, 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 wave. I want to introduce myself. Wave, wave. If it's your first time, please. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a secret, right? Your your church hunt has come to an end. Amen. Welcome home. So we're going to shout welcome home at the count of three. One, two, three. Everybody. If they're sitting next to you, look at them in the eyeball and shout welcome home. One, two, three. Go. Yeah, we love you. We love this place for you. This is home. Welcome home. Hallelujah. Welcome home. Uh, we have just disturbed your, 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 your church search and church hopping problems, amen. You finally found a place where you can settle down, amen. Isaac kept digging and digging and digging until the digging ended. So for you today, your digging is about to end. In fact, it has come to an end, hallelujah. Glory to God. My message this morning is we, I just want to lay the foundation. Uh, Apostle Jerome Liberty arrived yesterday. He's around, so it's about to be really good in this place. Uh, we are ready. We've been fasting and we've been praying for a move of God. And I told the men of God, I said, you know, I'm, I'm just going to apologize in, uh, in advance because our people are crazy. Um, they're going to they're gonna 
take up all your anointing and um, we're going to leave you dry. We'll try and give you some honorarium just to compensate for it, but it's not going to help you because you're going to have to go on holiday after Goshen. Amen. So, so please, let's live up to our expectations. So let's, 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 let's drain all the wisdom and the anointing that is upon that man. He is amazing. One of the very few first men of God in our nation to even own a private jet. Amen. Amazing. I'm a very humble, very, very humble. You will never know. But he does amazing things and we'll be discussing kingdom faith with him. Amen. How to use faith to become the man and the woman of your dreams. Hallelujah. And I believe that when the Bible says the poor you'll always have among you, he was not, it was not talking about anyone in Goshen. Amen. Amen. For there shall be none feeble, poor, sick, hungry, desperate, broke, unemployed, business not making sense among us. Amen. Amen. All of us here shall have life and life in abundance. Today I want to speak on the king on the cross. Amen. The king on the cross. This weekend, bundle your... Your, your anxieties, your issues, and bring them to the altar. Tomorrow morning we have a morning session and an evening session. Please be here for both of them. Um, I know the morning session, we say that it's for business people and leaders, but I believe that, like I always say, I preach to an all-star church, amen? Uh, when we say, God raised millionaires. You must jump up quick and say, I am one of them. Amen. Don't ever look for other people to do what God is commissioning you to do. Hallelujah. Why would God ask a widow woman to feed a prophet? Why couldn't the prophet turn stones into bread? Because he was doing stuff. I mean, he rained fire from heaven. He prayed that there must be no rain. Surely he could do something about his hunger. But all of that was a setup for the woman to get out of poverty, amen? So whenever there's a need in the kingdom of God, don't complain, don't complain. Believe God. When we say we are raising money, get excited and start believing God. God, I want to participate. Use me as a transporter of wealth, amen? Never, never ever feel sorry for yourself. Nobody cares. I'm telling you, I also don't care. Yeah, even Jesus has given you a way of escape. So don't think that he's, you are glorifying God and you think it's humility to think poor and, and struggle and you are always pointing, let the rich do it. No, I am among the rich. Hallelujah. When the Bible says that you shall lay hands on the sick and they will recover, it's not talking to prophets, it's talking to you. An ordinary believer should and must be able to lay hands on the sick and they recover. Every believer should be able to preach the gospel and people give their life to Christ. It's not just for an elite few. My job is to train you to do just that. Hallelujah. We will finance the kingdom. Shout, that's me. That's me. Hallelujah. We will move this nation forward for Christ. Shout, that's me. that's me. We will usher revival into South Africa. Somebody shout, that's me. That's me. We will demonstrate the power of God in our generation. Shout, that's me. That's me. Hallelujah. When people are looking for where God is, they will come to your address. They will come to your office. Hallelujah. In your office, they'll come to your desk. Hallelujah. Shout, that's me. Yeah, partnering with God all the time. Stop all this thing that we are doing. We are feeling sorry for us. After Jesus did all this that he did, you still feel sorry for yourself. Hallelujah. God forbid. Somebody shout, God forbid. Hallelujah. Amen. We've got kings and priests. Hallelujah. Kings and priests. There is no skepsel and uh, some soko loco. No, 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 please. Let's not catch you. First Corinthians chapter 1. Hallelujah. The king is here. Hallelujah. The king is here. I believe that God is here for someone this morning. The king is here. The king is here. The king is here. Verse 18, 
To preach the message of the cross seems like sheer nonsense to those who are on their way to destruction. But to us, somebody say, that's me. Yes. Who are being saved. Who are being what? Saved. Being saved every day. Look at your neighbor and say, you are not yet there. It's still happening. It's still happening. You are being saved. You are being transformed. You are being configured. Hallelujah. You are being transfigured. It is the mighty power of God released within us. The message of cross is what? It is the mighty power of God released where, Bazalon? Within us. For it is written, I will dismantle the wisdom of the wise and I will invalidate the intelligence of the scholars. Hallelujah. So Paul here is writing to a church in Corinth, you know, in a time that looks like our time. Hallelujah. Uh, they, they, these guys had problems, by the way. So, so when you see gossipers in church, I've, I've heard people leave churches because they are gossipers. They were gossipers even in Bible days. <laughs> you are not the first gossiper. <laughs> keep gossiping. Encourage them to keep gossiping. They're fulfilling scriptures, amen, when they gossip about you. So we need the gossipers that we can. How many of you know that Judas was necessary? Yeah, so, so if you choose to be a Judas, that's on you, amen. But we need you. Please continue <laughs> If that's your business, if that's what you enjoy doing, amen. So these guys were competing about spiritual uh, superiority. Hmm? I pray 10 hours a day, and therefore I can do this and that. Hallelujah. Who is the better preacher? Who's got a bigger church than the other? Hallelujah. In this church, if you preach better than me, I send you away. It's simple. There's no competition, amen. Anyone that comes here, I hear them making jokes and people are laughing. I'm looking at you and I'm thinking, wait, hey, your days are numbered, my brother. <laughs> we don't compete. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They were suing one another in public courts. So they would hurt each other and, and, and do stuff. And like our generation, instead of dealing with their issues, they would post it on social media. They were, they were, they were publicizing their issues. They were doing all kinds of of wrong things, hallelujah. They were uh, abusing the communal meal. Um, you know, there was a lot of sexual misbehavior. Married people were just doing their thing. You know, nobody cared, hallelujah. Uh, please, if, 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 it, if, if I touch on some of the issues that you're, we're not judging, right? I'm just telling you what the church in Corinth was dealing with. So if, if you fall within one of those, just say, <clears throat> okay, don't say, don't say anything. We won't, we won't say which one, amen. Just, you know, just say, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> hallelujah. So, so uh, Paul is speaking to a people that are saved but not transformed. So, so they, they love Jesus, but they, they still live in sin. Um, they, they, they are singing Amakoras. But when they are done, they go back to their nonsense. Amen. Hallelujah. So they, are, they were boasting about their works and not the finished work of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So if you call them out, they cancel you uh, on social media. You mention their sin, they go ham on you. Hallelujah. So you, you, you call them out, they give you a medical report. You know, scholars, they know everything. You tell them, wake up at night and pray. They tell you, the doctor said we must sleep eight hours. You tell them, fast. They tell you, uh, 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 breakfast is the most important meal of the day. They were smart people. You tell them, give. They tell you, you must save for the rainy day. Ah, they've got an answer. My, my room, Fundis, it's not that I don't want, but things, but things are just locked up at the moment. You know, I've got investments that are still maturing. They just locked. They had the right English for it. Hallelujah. And, and, and Paul says to them, listen, what I'm preaching to you seems like foolishness right now. But God is about to demonstrate his power so that your knowledge and your wisdom will be dismantled. So that he will show you that his ways are not our ways. His ways are better than our ways. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. So they were the kind of generation that when you meet them in the street and you tell them, my brother, I haven't seen you in church. And they tell you, church people are wicked. But they are part of the church people they are talking about. So you ask yourself, but which one, you or me, who is the wicked one? Hallelujah. Glory to God. So the message of the cross invalidates our intelligence and removes our excuses. Tell your neighbor, there is no excuse. Especially in Goshen, you don't have an excuse not to serve God. You don't have an excuse not to give your money in this place. There, you, you want to see your money is there. It's, that's your cash. Yeah, it is. Your money is somewhere here. <laughs> somewhere. Tumelo is part of your money. Amen. It's, it's somewhere. It's there. So you don't have an excuse. His death on the cross says it's not by might nor by power. It says I have come I have overcome sin so that you can overcome sin. So you don't have an excuse to stay in the mess that you're in. To the sick, what is the message of the cross? By his stripes, you are healed. That is the message of the cross. The doctor tells you cancer, and then the message of the cross says what? By his stripes, we are healed. That is the power. Now, it sounds like nonsense, right? To the one that is dying. It sounds like nonsense when you tell them that there is a report that is better than the doctor's report. There is a report that is better than your bank statement. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, there are reserves in heaven that, are, that far exceed your bank balance. It seems like nonsense when you tell people. You tell the poor, give. They give you all kinds of excuses. Oh, no, Mfundisi. All pastors want, look at you, the way you are dressed. You are, it's our man. No, it's not. Some of it, amen. Not all of it. None. Just, just plain. To the stingy, the message of the cross is that God loves a cheerful giver. So everybody is covered. The cross covers us all. And God gave us his son cheerfully. Do you know that God was not motivated by anger to give us Jesus? It was not sin that made him angry so much that he... It was, he was motivated by love. How much he loved us pushed him to coming up with a solution for us. Love. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, to those battling with sexual immorality, the message of the cross is simple. Flee fornication. The word flee means run with terror. When you see your temptation coming, run. Don't walk. Run. The opposite direction, just in case you bump into each other and you connect. No, run. When you see your speck, run, 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 run. When they say hello, say bye-bye, quick, run, flee fornication. Because you know yourself, right? The problem is people that have got weaknesses but are living in denial. You, are, you know you are not strong. Yeah, you know you still need a, a couple more days of prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. So listen, I'm not condemning anyone this morning, all right? To the spiritually superior, the message of the cross is, it's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. So me standing here is not because I'm intelligent than you. Some of you have got PhDs. Some of you are theologians. Some of you are wealthy. Some of you, you, you understand? You're not here because of me. You are here because something is pulling you here. That is the power of the cross to the sensitive. Those of us who are very sensitive, the message of the cross is we walk not by sight, but by faith, not by how you feel. Irregardless of how you are feeling, you show up in church. <laughs> yeah, irregardless of your achievements, you take up the, the broom and you sweep the church, you clean the toilets. Yeah, I'm talking to the doctors, I'm talking to the lawyers, I'm talking to the pilots, I'm talking to everyone that's here. Hallelujah. So to the sensitive, we walk not by sight, by, by what, uh, uh, Fafa? Faith. Please, I don't feel like singing, I'm just tired, I feel drained. It's not by might, it is by faith. So in other words, the cross anchors all aspects of life. There's a king on the cross. 
They looked at Jesus and saw a thief, but he was a king on the cross. Oh, there is power on the cross. Ah, there is life on the cross of Calvary. Our debts were paid on the cross of Calvary. It seems like nonsense to the perishing, but there is life on the cross. Dengsi fa pa no Kibo ni murena Tutu ya di bitaka Itu si tue Yeah Ma so Can you give God a praise for that? <laughs> Colossians chapter 2 and verse 6. Macho. In the same way you received Jesus our Lord and Messiah by faith, continue your journey of faith, progressing further into your union with Him. Your spiritual roots go deeply into His life as you are continually infused with what? With strength. Encouraged in every way, for you are established in the faith you have absorbed and enriched by your devotion to him. Beware that no one distracts you or intimidates you in their attempt to lead you away from Christ's fullness by pretending to be full of wisdom when they are filled with the endless arguments of human logic. For they operate with the humanistic clouded judgments based on the mindset of this world system and not the anointed truths of the anointed one. That's why for me, I don't talk to people who try to convince people who have made up their minds. Hallelujah. There's conversations you get into where people are just trying to poke holes and, and, and challenge and intimidate your faith. Hallelujah. You ignore. Those are foolish people. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, the best thing you can do for yourself is to not jump into the mud with the swines because now we can't tell the difference between you and the, and the swine. Amen. So you walk away and you preach the gospel, you preach the message of the cross, hallelujah. For he is the complete fullness of deity living in human form. And our own completeness is now found in him. We are completely filled with God as Christ's fullness overflows within us. He is the head of every kingdom and authority in the universe. I love this, hallelujah. There's a king on the cross. Somebody say, say there's a king on the cross. The Bible calls him the head of every kingdom and authority in the universe. Through our union with him, we have experienced circumcision of heart. All of the guilt and the power of sin has been cut away and is now extinct because of what Christ, the anointed one, has accomplished for us. For we've been buried with him into his death. Our baptism into death also means we were raised with him when we believed in God's resurrection power, the power that raised him from death's realm. This realm of death describes our former state, for we were held in sin's grasp, but now we've been resurrected out of that realm of death, never to return, for we are forever alive and forgiven of all our sins. He canceled every legal violation we had on our record and the old arrest warrant that stood, that stood to indict us. He erased it all, our sins, our stained soul. He deleted it all and they cannot be retrieved. Everything we once were in Adam has been placed onto his cross 
and nailed permanently there as a public display of cancellation. Hallelujah. I love this scripture. Oh, come on. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Then Jesus made a public spectacle of all the powers and principalities of darkness, stripping away from, from them every weapon and all their spiritual authority and power to accuse us. And by the power of the cross, the power of the cross, there's a king on the cross, Jesus led them around as prisoners in a procession of triumph. He was not their prisoners, they were his. Hallelujah. The Bible says that that, 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 that list of sins, that guilty verdict that we had has been nailed on the cross as a public spectacle. When people look at your past, point them to the cross. Hallelujah. When they remind you of your sins, point them where? To the cross. This weekend we are building our faith, but the anchor of our faith is the finished work of Jesus Christ where? On the cross. It all begins with the cross. It all started on the cross. Hallelujah. When he said it is finished on the cross, best believe it was finished. Hallelujah. He didn't just talk about specific things. He says, I have paid it all. And then he looked at us and said, not guilty. Look at your neighbor and tell him, not guilty. You are not guilty. You are not guilty. You are looking at the old me. I am not guilty. I am guilt free. Hallelujah. Every principality that was accusing me has been dealt with. And so we are righteous people living in condemnation. You're like a king living as a poor man. Hallelujah. You are like one who owns it all, but you've been blinded. Sin robbed us from a relationship with G with God, but on the cross, Jesus brought us back into reconciliation with the Father. Hallelujah. This is the message of the cross. On that cross, Jesus said that you and I can do anything that he enables us to do. On that cross, Jesus said that in us, there is no failure. God is not mad at you anymore. When he looks at you, he looks at you through the lenses of the cross. Oh, there is power on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. And today we want to demonstrate that power. We are walking out on our past. We are walking out on our violations. Glory to Jesus. Woo! We have been justified by the complete work of Jesus Christ. And he said it is finished. It is finished. The guilt, the shame, the failure, the impossibilities of life. God says it is finished. What was he doing? He pressed the reset button. I've said this over and over again. He pressed the reset button. And you are no longer conditioned for sin, but for righteousness. There was a substitution that took place. Where we were supposed to suffer, he suffered. Where we were supposed to die, he died. Where we were supposed to fail, he went through it for us. He was beaten up for you and I. He took it all upon himself. It was so bad, Barcelona, that God turned his eyes away from him for a second. Left naked on the cross. All alone on the cross. But it was a king on the cross. Hallelujah. It was a redeemer on that cross. Glory to God. So the cross levels the playing field. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 14. May my only boast be found in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. In him I have been crucified to this natural realm. And the natural realm is dead to me and no longer dominates my life. There is nothing, listen, there is nothing we have which is not a result of the cross. Like I said, your faith is a result of the finished work of the cross. There is absolutely nothing that man is enjoying today that is not a result of the cross. We were suffering separation from God, which is spiritual death. Looking good, but separated from God. So the difference 
and those that are ignorant of what God has done and those that are taking, the, the, the difference is that there are some that are ignorant of what God has done and some that are taking hold of the message of the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Yes, our faith makes us well, but the foundation is that cross. Glory to Jesus. Yes, we fasted and prayed and God answered, but the foundation is the cross for it gives us room to exercise our faith and to come into the presence of God. Hallelujah. It all begins where, Barcelona? At the cross. If you're going to boast, boast about the cross. Talk about the cross. Embrace the cross. So back to the Corinthians. These guys were boasting about their own finished work. But here's what Jesus says in Luke chapter 9 and verse 23. Jesus said to all of his followers, if you truly desire to be my disciples, you must disown your life completely. Embrace my cross as your own and surrender your ways. Hallelujah. It's all about the cross. Jesus says, if you want to be my disciple, you have got to surrender your ways and you need to embrace my cross. What does this mean? So the difference between a believer and a disciple is that, they, is that the disciple takes up his cross and surrenders their will. A true disciple of Jesus Christ is someone who surrenders their will, someone who is full of the Holy Spirit. And I've said this before, that being full of the Holy Spirit means that every aspect of your life is influenced by God. You are full of the Holy Spirit. Areas of finance influenced by God, full of the Holy Spirit. And a believer, a mere believer, just believes. Is there someone who believes that Jesus is Lord? But that does not lead them to any action. The Bible says even Satan believes. So there is, if you are just believing and your belief does not move you to action, you are not yet a disciple. So God wants you to move from just being a believer to becoming a disciple. He didn't say if you want to be my believer because you can believe that Jesus is alive and not follow him. So he says embrace the cross. So the cross is a symbol of us following Jesus. Embrace the cross. Hallelujah. My way is, listen, listen for a believer, is I want to give you a piece of my mind. But the cross says give him the other cheek. That is embracing the cross daily. Hallelujah. For a simple believer, I want to protect my peace. Hallelujah. But for the one who embraces the cross, they love their neighbor as Jesus loves them. We are easily forgiving. What? We are embracing the cross. We are hiding behind the cross. Tell your neighbor, hide behind the cross. When all else fails, run to the cross. Glory. There's a king on the cross. And that king is able to meet all your needs. His death on the cross, what does it do for us? It redeems us. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19. Have you forgotten that your body is now the sacred temple of the spirit of holiness who lives in you? You don't belong to yourself any longer. For the gift of God, the Holy Spirit, lives inside your sanctuary. You are God's expensive purchase, paid for with tears of blood. So by all means then, use your body to bring glory to who? To God. Hallelujah. So through the power of the cross, we are no longer, we no longer have room early to argue with the flesh. We bring our flesh into subjection. We subdue our desires. We are redeemed. We have been bought with a high price. Hallelujah. We cannot afford to put our opinions ahead of the cross. Why? Because we have been redeemed. We have been bought back into Eden. We have been reinstituted into our rightful place with God. We are redeemed. Somebody shout, I am redeemed. Amen. The Bible says that you no longer be belong to yourself. You have been redeemed. Hallelujah. You no longer belong to yourself. It's no longer my suffering. 
If I am suffering, then God must do something about it. Why? I have been redeemed. I don't belong to myself. It's no longer my family curses. Why? I have been redeemed from my family. I belong to Christ. So God must do something about it. I've got a different blood flowing through my veins. Hallelujah. Number two, what does the cross do? It sanctifies us. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 14. And by this one perfect sacrifice, he made us perfectly holy and complete for all time. You are not holy sometimes. You are a dirty, holy believer. You're like a child that has been just taking a shower, then we're cooking for the Christmas, and then you go jump into the mud. But the clothes you're wearing are still new. You're still covered in holiness, but acting like a rebel. Hallelujah. Today, God is calling us back where? To the cross. We have been sanctified. What does that mean? We have been set apart for holy use. God wants to use you to advance the kingdom. God wants to use you for his will. God wants to use you and I to break the chains of our generation. We have been made holy. Hallelujah. So because of the cross, we don't have to anticipate evil and punishment. We are holy. Somebody say, I am holy. Hallelujah. Number three thing that the cross does for us, it reconciles us back to the Father. He's not mad at us anymore because of the cross, because of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Listen, attend prayer. God hears your prayer. He's not angry with you. Some of us don't come because we think that God doesn't listen to us. So you are sending us Mfundi Sungberg and never. Where am I putting you? Go put yourself there. Hallelujah. No, we don't do that stuff. You are holy enough to stand before God. Not because of works, but because of what he has done for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. So don't think we are fun. I'm funny. The, the price has been paid. <laughs> Hallelujah. So don't look down on yourself and say, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody. No, I am a child of God. I have been reconciled with the Father. There's a difference between me and the ordinary jack on the street. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we can walk away from sin. Why? Because the cross calls us to a place of love. It was not motivated by anger. He didn't die because he was angry with you. He died because he loved you and he wanted that fellowship back. And so today, I want us to fix our gaze on the cross. There's a king on the cross. Tell your neighbor, there's a king on the cross. Hallelujah. There's a king on the cross. Glory to Jesus. So we have been reconciled. We are no longer guilty. We are no longer guilty. You know, it's like what I said last week. The ear has been put back. Peter, I know what you did. You cut off that soldier's ear, but Jesus put it back and there was no scar left. There was no proof of Peter doing anything wrong. Absolutely zero. No, no trace. No evidence. The evidence has been, the ballot, uh, what do you call it? The, the, the docket has been, has been, They can't find the docket. <laughs> so walk out of that jail. They can't find, there's no docket. <laughs> so go back and ask them, are you arresting me or can I go home? Like in the movies, with boldness. Am I under arrest or can I go? Yeah, ask them. But the, you, you see, the good thing is that the docket has disappeared. Ooh, I love heaven. I love the work of the cross. <laughs> The docket is gone. No more guilt. We have been reconciled. I'm no longer a slave to fear. You're afraid to pray. Oh, I'm a sinner. No. I am a child of God. Oh, come on. Can you say it with conviction? Come on. I'm no longer a slave. Oh, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I am. Oh, come on, say it again one more time. I'm no longer, I'm no. He's not angry with you anymore. I am, I am. Oh, you can pray now with 
no guilt, knowing that he hears my prayer, knowing that he is eager to talk to me. In the cool of the day, Adam, you can get back into the presence. <laughs> no more hiding believers. Hallelujah. Uh-uh. As nyonyo believers are in the presence of God. We walk in like princes. I am here to see my father. Hallelujah. And the good thing about our father is that there is no PA to tell you he's busy. <laughs> Hallelujah. There is no PA to tell you no. Listen, you can try to see me sometimes and Kele will tell you Mfundis is busy while I'm just chilling in my office because I told you I don't want to be disturbed. But with God, you can just walk up any time of the day in the midnight hour. Somebody tried it and some jail started to, sh there was an earthquake in the jail. What? They gained access into the holy because of the cross, because of the cross, because of the cross. <laughs> Hallelujah. You're afraid to fast and pray. I went through a, a hideous divorce. Yes, you did, but not guilty. The Bible says not guilty. You've been forgiven. Not guilty, not guilty, not guilty, not guilty. Guilty, not guilty, not guilty, not guilty, not guilty, not guilty. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you tell someone, come to church, don't tell them, stop smoking and come to, no. Tell them, bring your cigarettes with you. We will give them the cross and the cigarette will have no place in them. Hallelujah. Yeah. They tell you, all I have is bum shots. Tell them we've got prayer showers. Come, just come as you are. We will cover you with love. We will, we will get all the sisters to sit around you and close you. We won't see anything until you give your life to Christ and know how to dress decently. But don't stop because of guilt. Don't enter the gate. The veil has been torn. Reconciliation has taken place. <laughs> the Bible says that we are called heirs with Jesus. Hallelujah. It's not a 50-50 split, Pastor Lord. What he has is what I have. What he does is what I do. Hallelujah. He's seated in heavenly places. Guess what? That's where I am. That's where I am. That's where I am. Why? Because of the power of the cross. To some people it may be nonsense, but this is the power of the gospel. This is the message of the cross. Hallelujah. So tell the harlot, you don't have to be a harlot anymore. He has forgiven you, not guilty. Tell the thief to stop stealing. Hallelujah. Tell them there's room for you in my father's house. There are many mansions. That's what Jesus says. It means that there is space for us. We can come in dirty as we are, jacked up as we are, smelly as we are, guilty as we were. Hallelujah. I didn't say as we are. We are not guilty. We may look guilty, but we are not guilty. Hallelujah. I may have some scars on my face and people get uncomfortable around me. But listen, I'm not that guy anymore. They looked at Paul and said, you were stoning believers. He said, me. They said, you. He says, me. They said, you. He says, never. They said, but we saw you. He said, no, that one died with Jesus. <laughs> the one you are looking now is a child of the Most High God. <laughs> There's a king on the cross. There's a king on the cross. There's a king on the cross. And we can come into his presence with boldness. Hallelujah. Where are you going? To my father's house. Woo. I see my kids. The way they will open the, uh, their parents' door sometimes. Sometimes I'll shout at them. But they still do it again. Why? Because they've got full access. It's their father's house. Hallelujah. They're, they're, not, they're, not, they're not tenants. No. They're not renting space in my heart. They know they are right. Sometimes they'll sit me down and call me to order. Daddy, no, you can't. Daddy, we want this. They place a demand on that Maluleke name. Uh, they place a demand on it and say, Daddy, how can, you, how, how can we have a rich father like you and we are asking you for a PlayStation game and you're not buying it? Buy us this game. They believe that their father is rich. <laughs> Is that not what we believe? So why are you suffering? Go to your father and ask him, pay my rent. Dude, listen, I've got, I've got issues. Tell them, hey, Dad, show. That's what the guy, the blind guy said, Jesus. He wasn't just shouting. He, he, was, he was talking to his brother. 
because he is the firstborn of the begotten. Hallelujah. He is the first. So when he looked at Jesus, he saw eternity. And so he starts shouting for his brother to help him out. He says, I am blind and you're walking past me. Jesus turned around and nobody could stop this guy because this was a man who knew his position in God. So don't feel guilty, man. Stop feeling ashamed. Stop feeling ashamed. Some of us are so apologetic and fearful. You can't even introduce you. You are stammering not because you've got a problem of speech. No, you're just stammering because you are timid. I stand tall. The cross gives you the audacity to get into places that they said people like you should never come in. But the cross made a way for us. Sange nalap. What? Because of the cross, man. Oh, we came out of addiction. We came out of immorality. We came out of death. We came out of the jail. We came out of poverty. Oh, He has made a way of escape. He has made a way of escape. you devil shame on you devil I've been redeemed let the redeemed of the Lord say so I have been redeemed we hid ourselves behind the cross and we came out we came out when the doors were closed the Bible says that when he was resurrected Jesus was walking through walls hallelujah so like him see and somebody shout, I am redeemed. Kalama Sunday, Ele Mahasi Akapala. Nam Sankosi. When I look at the mess I made, <laughs> when I look at the wrongs I did, woo, when I look at the shame in my, woo, I don't even want to look back there. Hallelujah. I know there's a truckload of mess. Hallelujah. I know there are issues in my past. I'm coming why because the price has been paid for me to get out the ransom has been paid in full so I have a right to come out you cannot keep a redeemed man down you cannot keep a woman of God down you cannot keep a prophet of God down somebody shouting is I'm coming out of Nyaupe. I'm coming out. What? The cross has made a way for me. You thought that I would be a prostitute all my life? You got something else coming your way. I am coming out of prostitution. But Why? Because of the cross. Not guilty. Nam Sankosi. Hey, you would have committed suicide already. Your story was finished. 
I want you to think about it for a second before the cross. Nam Khan Kosi Siamangala Umasbega Emuva Esa mocha boaibo Esa mocha, esa mocha Gube wena Waunghe Nati Kopalande Nabe Safelente. Hey, say it again. Come on. Nam Sango Si Makapala Kandoria Bahasaya. Si Amana. Send them a Kopala Kate. Uma Si Pele. God, you must see you. God, you must see you. God, you must see you. You did not have to do anything. You just inherited it by grace. God is super. Hallelujah. We have suffered. It's enough. We have been timid. It's enough. We have been broke. It's enough. Today, we are moving forward in the power of the cross. I don't have to figure it out. I just have to hide behind the cross. Hide behind, hide behind, there is power on the cross. Ay, 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 ay,
here whose destinies are trapped. Some people here whose progress seemed trapped. Some people here who are struggling to come out of things. Hallelujah. I have tried, Mfundis, but it's hard. Please run to the front. I want to pull you out. God gave me a mandate for you this morning. The cross is going to pull you out. I'm, gonna ask you, I'm not going to ask you what your mess is, but God's going to pull you out. Hallelujah. God, quickly come, 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 come. I'm tired of this jail. I'm tired of my inadequacies. I'm tired of my flops. I'm tired of my mess. We are coming out of family things. Ooh, we are coming out of, of guilt. We are coming out of things that we Never thought we would. Come, 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 come. God is pulling you out. God is pulling you out. God is pulling you out. Anxiety, God is pulling you out of it. That addiction, God is pulling. There is deliverance on the cross. There is deliverance. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. In the village, village, in the village, Oh, hey, Masala Masia Monday. Oh, come on, cry out to your father this this afternoon. Talk to him. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out of my family struggles. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out of pornography. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Smoking. I'm coming out. Drunkenness. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I know the time is gone, but we've got some business to do today. Some people need help. Your brother needs help. Your sisters need help. Hey. Oh, come on, cry out to him, cry out to him, cry out to him. It is that power of the cross. You have not come to me, you have come to that power of the cross. He's pulling you out now, even as you're praying. He's pulling you out now, even as I join my faith with yours this morning. God is pulling us out and plugging us out. Ora kapala kande, jebe baba baba sanda, mandele kendele gebrege ba, je ya baba baba osa ya la ba hazianda, erebo sonde kendele gebe hezima ya la ba hazianda, shanda la ba sonde leke ba. Oh Jesus came down and he lifted me. Up for Jesus came down and he lifted me up for Jesus came down and he lifted. Yeah, for Jesus came down and he lifted me. For Jesus, for Jesus, and he lifted. Oh, gee. Your family is coming out. Your family is coming out. Families that are plagued with destruction by the power of the cross will pull you out. For oh, Jesus. Please watch them. 
please watch them. Please watch them. And oh, Jesus. Kataba Hacienda. Oh, yeah. It's happening right now. It's happening right now. It's happening. Lift up your hands and declare it. Come on. Lift up those hands and ask him, help me, Father. Help me. Come on, church of God, one more time with conviction in your spirit. Come on, sing it up. Oh, Jesus. And it lifted me. And it lifted me. And he lives. 
Jesus. for the cross the cross that takes away all our sins the cross that takes away our guilt and shame the cross that takes away generational curses family curses thank you for opening a doorway for us <laughs> Thank you for Demonstrate 2024. We are expectant. Who, oh, after a service like this, God, we cannot wait for tomorrow morning. We cannot wait for tomorrow evening. We cannot wait for Sunday. For we know that you have got something special for us in this place. City of Goshen, if you appreciate God and the cross, lift up those hands and take 60 seconds. Just thank him for your expectations. Whatever you came to this conference expecting, I want you to take it to the Lord in prayer. Just thank him for it. God, thank you for that breakthrough. Thank you for that healing. Thank you for that answer in my family. Thank you for loosing those chains. Thank you for breaking that barrier. Thank you for opening that door. Thank you for that healing. 
Thank you for reconciliation. Thank you for fixing it. Yeah, I hear him. I hear him saying, I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. Thank you for fixing it. Whatever it is that needs fixing, whatever it is that is broken, thank you. Thank you. Thank you in advance for the miracles of tomorrow morning. Thank you in advance for tomorrow evening. Thank you in advance for Sunday. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for redeeming us. Thank you for reminding us of the power of the cross. Thank you for redemption. Thank you for redemption. Thank you for redemption. For we are not guilty. We are sons and daughters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, I want to I wanna just encourage you as we leave this place. I want to encourage you to just give towards this conference. Amen. Go home, prepare seed. If you have it right now, you can come and drop it off on the altar. But I want you to give towards this conference. I want you to sow a seed for what God is doing in your life. I want you to do something you've never done before. You know, um, to tell you the truth, when it comes to Apostle Jerome, I've, I've been following him for quite some time. First time I heard him preach, he said to our host that day, never allow a worshiper that does not tithe to stand on your pulpit. And that hit me hard. I was a worship leader. Amazing revelations. This is a man who preached a couple of years ago and my wife and I emptied our savings, literally. I'm not saying go do that. We were convicted by the Spirit to do that when we emptied our savings. And this was a time when the bank had already turned me down on buying a property twice. And we emptied our savings and we went in and we said, man of God, we just want to sow this seed. And things opened up in a mighty way. A couple of weeks ago, he was preaching somewhere. Uh, I think it was late last year, I was preaching somewhere. And I went to go see him. It was on a Sunday afternoon. And when I went there, the Holy Spirit said to me, take the entire offering of that service that we had just had here and give it to him. And I phoned him and I met up with him and I knelt down and I gave him the offering. Man, you know, there are things that you just have to, sometimes you just have to take the bull by the horn. So I want to encourage you in this conference, come prepared. I know you're a student, but you see, certain things, you do them where you are because of where you are going. They prepare you for where you are going. So I want you to make up your mind. Go pray about it if you need to. Whether now or tomorrow morning or by Sunday, bring an offering to God. God, this is for demonstrate. 2024. I want to see the power of demonstration in my life. I don't want to remain where I am. I want to demonstrate your power in me and through me. Hallelujah. God, demonstrate your power in me and through me. So I encourage you, Bazalwan. I encourage you. If you have it, you can come and drop it off by the altar. Whatever the amount, it's, just, it's in the sacrifice. It's not really in the amount. It's in the sacrifice. That just says, God, I am, I am standing in the gap for my family. I'm standing in the gap for my business. I'm standing in the gap. I don't want this conference to leave or to finish, and I remain where I am. Some of you are destined for greatness, but it will take a push from you to activate that greatness. And this conference, demonstrate, will always be a time where we activate you in the marketplace. I mean, this is not a conference like any other. We are not just talking Holy Ghost fire. We are, to, we are specifically dealing with marketplace issues. We are dealing with the hunger issues in our communities. We are dealing with economic issues in our communities. Hallelujah. We are here to solve those problems. This weekend, we are here to solve those problems. And I've said it here before, by faith and by the grace of God, no one here should be unemployed. Absolute zero. No one should be unemployed. I'm not talking to lazy people. If you're one of the lazy bunch, I'm not talking. This one is not for you. If you're already making up excuses in your mind, that's, this message is not for you. But no one here 
should have a business that is failing. We, we don't agree at all, at all, at all, at all. We refuse by fire, by force. And demonstrate is that platform where we come to lay bare before God and say, Lord, solve it. Break this poverty syndrome in our family. This is the season for it. Hallelujah. This is the season for it. Let's lift up our hands in just the next 60 seconds and just pray in the Holy Spirit. If you can, just pray in the Holy Spirit. But make up your mind to sow that seed to God this weekend. Whatever He tells you to do, do it. 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 And we will never settle for less. For we know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for we know there's more that's found in you. It's in you. It's in you. Not in us, but we look into your sufficiency. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. Yeah. We know there's more that's found in you. It's in you. It's in you. That's why we're here this weekend. Oh, yeah, Maya. It's in you, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, mighty God. There's more that's found in you. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Goshen, I bless you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Go and prosper. Go and demonstrate the power of God to your generation. Go and influence the marketplace. Go, for the Lord has opened doors that no man will ever shut. Go, for the cross has made it possible. Go in confidence. God is not mad at you anymore. Jesus has paid the price. You have been redeemed. You have been sanctified. And you have been reconciled. Go in this conviction. For the Lord is your strength. Amen and amen. God bless you, city of Goshen. We love you. See you tomorrow at 10 a.m. It's going to be explosive in this place. Hallelujah. God bless you, everybody.